is an end to all discriminatory acts that are based on ethnicity and sex and religion throughout all sectors of society, and most important, some kind of discipline for those who violate uh, th that prohibition. They ask for eradication of all ideologies in the education system and install this, uh, because those install discrimination and hatred among students starting at the preschool level and all the way to the university level. The fourth thing they'd like, th these are the young students that were in the streets, all right? They want awareness of the imminent danger of radical religious groups in Egypt, such as the Muslim Brotherhood, which to some extent, they say, is funded by Iran. And one of the things they report is that there is walking around money and there's food that has been provided uh, by the Iranians. Uh, uh, and and it's, 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 it's annoying to those that are leading the charge to have on the streets, you know, a foreign influence. And they'd like that known. In the summer of uh, 2009, uh, many of us in this country were very dismayed over the fact that when the demonstrations broke out in Iran, in the streets, that on day one, our president said nothing. On day two, our president said nothing. Finally, on day three, he said something to the effect that we need a continued dialogue with the clerics. Uh, that was extraordinarily disappointing. And then uh, when the, when the uh, people started marching in Egypt, it didn't take the president that long to undermine President Mubarak and said he's got to go. And so I'd like to know what the basis of the president, and at that time you were Deputy, uh, Deputy Secretary of State, in doing nothing in Iran a year and a half ago. Why didn't he do something? Well, Congressman, I, I obviously have a, a different uh, view on what took place, both in terms of the statements that we made in support of uh, the people in the streets uh, in Iran and the support that we have continued to give for that, as well as our continued focus on the problem of the deprivation of human rights uh, in Iran. Including now, I, I'm talking about the response, not the focus. And don't tell me that the people in the streets were supported by the U.S. government because they were we, not. We made, we made clear our strong support for them, but at the same time... But you uh, didn't. That's not correct. They were not supported. I think we, we gave the support that, that the President articulated and the Secretary articulated about our strong commitment to their rights to peacefully demonstrate, to assemble, the need for the government there to, uh, to engage with them. But nothing that everybody in the world understands that President Obama's position 